Hello, my name is Jason Devane. That's what I thought, my educator friend. Go ahead, Jason. Okay, um, this, this question is about the canonization of the books of the Bible. Uh, one of the criteria is that the book in question was referenced by ancient church leaders. So in, in Jude 14 and, and 15, it quotes a prophecy from Enoch that can be found in the second chapter of the book of Enoch. So if one of the criteria is that it was a re referenced by ancient church leaders. Why isn't this uh, book considered a, a fifth part of a biblical canon? Very good, Jason. Um, that is true, and uh, boy, I'll never get to those first two. Um, there, there are a lot of things cited in the Bible that aren't, um, that where they come from are not inspired. Uh, you know, Jesus cited a, a historic event when he talked about the people that died when the tower fell on them in this time. Uh, there are also references to the book of Jasher and the book of this and that and that. But the book of Enoch and all of the other uh, books that are either apocryphal, uh, the Apocrypha, which the Roman Catholic Church accepts, uh, there's also another group of books called the Pseudopigrapha. Uh, these are all Grapha. I can't talk and write at the same time. There, there are a whole group of books that were written, uh, some of them in the intertestamental period. Uh, do you remember that uh, uh, Malachi finished his writing about uh, 400 years before the birth of Christ? So from the end of the Old Testament, 400 B.C., actually uh, about maybe 431 B.C., um, Malachi closed out the, what is considered the canon of the Old Testament. Then there's this 400 years of silence time uh, that, uh, that's just, it's called that in church history, the 400 silent years. And then we have the dawning of the New Testament uh, period of time, which the, you know, the, the uh, life of Christ is about from B.C. 4 to about 26 A.D. approximately. And then uh, John the Baptist, the last prophet, would have been uh, heralding Christ somewhere there, uh, depending on where you put the, the crucifixion, between 26, 27, or 30. And then all the way from approximately 30 A.D. to when John writes Revelation, so maybe 96. That's considered the New Testament period. These books, Book of Enoch and all that, are books from this time period. And also the, the Apocrypha, uh, many of them are in this, this time period. So they were known to the New Testament writers, uh, some of them. And one of them, this one, the Book of Enoch, is quoted. But as long as uh, we're doing this, look at Acts chapter 17, because I want to show you, just because it's cited doesn't make it uh, canonical. And, and this is how we answer that. Um, let me find it. In Acts chapter 17, uh, he said, uh, verse 28, uh, verse 27. So Acts 27, verse 27. I want to show you what Jude was doing when he cites this book. Because did you know it's kind of like, all truth is God's truth concept that, that, uh, that you can find something that is absolutely true even in something that's not inspired. Well, Paul does that. In verse 26, he says, um, and he is made of one blood, every nation to dwell on the face of the earth. He's determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings, that they should seek after the Lord in hope that they might find him, for he's not far from each of us. And then... It's interesting, for in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said. Now look at the end of verse 28. For we are also his offspring. Um, it's interesting there that Paul quotes from two Greek writers, Epimenides and... Um, um, Who's the other one? He quotes from, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Eratus, yeah. He quotes from two Greek authors, unsaved, unbelievers, Greeks, pagans. And look, he cites them. Because you know what they says? They said something that's true. We are his offspring. And in him we live and move and have our being. So Paul is not um, saying that the writings of these guys, uh, Eratus and Epimenides, are inspired. Nor is Jude saying that the book of Enoch is inspired. We know the book of Enoch and all the other apocryphal books um, that are from this time period. And by the way, the new ones, like this recent um, Jesus had a wife little thing that was in the news, those are, are from a time period way in here to the New Testament world. Uh, and, and a lot of these are, are from um, Egypt, and they're from all of these, uh, well, that one, it was a Coptic, uh, the one that was in the news recently. Uh, but they are from the, the region around the Holy Land, concurrent with and even going beyond the New Testament period. So back to Jason's question. Uh, canonization, the word canon, uh, actually, I don't think it has that um, extra N in there. Um, but canonization has to do with measuring up. One of them was that the apostles uh, were, were a contemporary or a companion of the writer, as in Luke, um, and as in James, um, or as in Mark, who was with Peter. Uh, James was our Lord's brother, and Luke was companion of Paul. But the canonization process was that the books as they were written were recognized by the church as they were written to have been from the Lord. It wasn't that there were a whole bunch that people were, were looking through and saying, well, I guess this one makes it and uh, this one doesn't. In fact, what is interesting, the Council of Jamnia um, is uh, uh, the, the late first century when, when they started talking about th this after the time of the apostles, all the way through when the, the church in the fourth century um, actually said this is the, the canon, um, it, it isn't like they, they decided then. It was that from the time of Christ and the apostles, uh, right after the apostle John said this is the end in AD 96, and this is the last book, Revelation. And Paul um, calls all the Old Testament scriptures scripture. And Peter calls Paul's writing scripture. Um, and then John said, this is the end of scripture. Those 27 books were recognized by the church. And finally, they had a council that said that they were canonized in about 431 um, or so. But, and, and Jamnia before that. But the church had believed that they were apostolic from when they were written. But when we talk about um, Jude citing the book of Enoch, it's no different than Paul citing other sources. Uh, it, it is just them picking a piece of truth out of something that's not inspired and including it into their writing as Jude 1 and uh, as um, Paul did in Acts 17. But you guys, you snuck those in. <laughs>